Hi guys, still Jan here. Quickie video for you again today. Today I got vape mail. Actually, yesterday I got vape mail. Only it's not anything I bought. One of the guys who watched one of my videos, uh, Michael Prater, he had commented on one of my videos that he was going to buy a certain PV because he'd already purchased two 5 volt box mods and after he got them, neither one of them worked. So when he and I were riding back and forth and I said, well, you know, if they're just broken and you're not going to do anything with them, how about you send them to me and let me see uh, why they don't work? So he did. He sent them to me. And one of them, I can tell from opening it up, is a 5 volt uh, box mod from Mad Vapes. Well, I don't know if somebody else put it together for him. I'm still waiting on some correspondence back and forth from him. But I can tell by looking at the guts it's a 5 volt uh, Mad Vapes box mod. We can look at that in a minute. But this is the one that most concerns me. Now this one he says was made by a very popular modder. I'm not going to say the modder's name because I don't know that. I'm, I didn't buy it from the modder, so I don't know that. But the innards of this really upset me. And I want to tell you guys something. If you open a mod, if you bought a mod from somebody who made a mod, a mod, open it up. And if you see bare wires in there, I want you to package the thing up, contact the modder, and say you want your money back. If you see bare wires, money back. Don't continue vaping it. Don't continue using it. Send it back, money back, in the story. Let's take a look at this mod. Okay, so here we have the mod. And uh, should I get beep this out for you or just show it to you? I'll just show it to you. Hang on, let me turn that meter off. I'm just going to show this to you. See these bare wires? Total no-no. There's no insulation on any of these wires. This wire right here, see this wire right here, it comes off the LED, goes to the side of the switch, then the modder just sort of wrapped it around this leg of the switch and pushed aside the remainder. Just pushed it out of the way. This is just pushed out of the way. And where it's pushed out of the way, it goes directly across this piece of bare wire, which is the ground for the atomizer connector. This is positive, this is negative, and right there is a dead short between positive and negative, right there. That's one. We bring it back here. We look at it going underneath here. Now this is the other leg for the LED right here with this big fat, way too bigger than it needs to be resistor. Comes around, more bare wire, ties into ground, which goes back to the battery box. But then right here, right there, is a second dead short. So the LED itself is dead shorted out. There's no resistor pulling it up even because the resistor itself is dead shorted. Now let's look at this. See how this is just flopping in the box? Flopping in the box. There's the regulator flopping in the box. It's not tied down. It's not stuck to anything. And the adhesive that the modder used to attach it to a heat sink, nice idea heat sink, yay, because this is a linear regulator, um, it's not thermal glue. It looks like kids cement. It's water soluble kids glue or something like that. Some kind of that brown kids glue. It's not thermally conductive. Therefore the heat sink is completely of no effect. So we got components not stuck down. We've got bare wires all shorted together up here. And, and then if all that were okay, to top it all off, the Addy connector isn't straight. If I put an Addy in here, or cartomizer, it's going to tilt off to the side. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just aesthetics. We also, I, I also don't like the use of these really small switches in these things because that's not rated for the amperage. That's not rated for three amps. But mock snicks. So yeah, super bad mod. You see bare wires like this in a mod. This bare wire mess up here. This is close it back up. Contact the modder, get your money back, and send this back to them. That's what this, this is. This is bad, folks. Okay, let's look at the Mad Vapes one. Now, this is really easy to tell it's a Mad Vapes one. <laughs> it's just like all the other Mad Vapes one. Like I said, I don't know if Mad Vapes built this or not. And I'll just tell you for a moment it out. Now, the way you figure out what's wrong with the mod, the, the thing you don't do is put batteries in it. Don't put batteries in it to see if it's bad. <laughs> Buzz it out with an ohmmeter first. Take your ohmmeter, you put it on ohms, you click it 
so you can get continuity checking. And then you just look and see the schematics. Hopefully you get the schematics, write and ask for the schematics, or try to draw them out yourself. That's what I did. Uh, of course, I, I don't know. I just, I know I have more expertise in this kind of stuff, but I, mean, I sat and drew the schematic out. And then I just proceeded to beep it. But yeah, and then just go through, and when you touch the contacts, you're going to get a beep. So yeah, so that's what I did. I went through methodically and beeped each portion. And when I got to here, I found there's a cold solder joint here, so that there's, uh, from here, this goes to the uh, positive of the atomizer, and it actually has almost a half a ohm of resistance. So that wouldn't be letting all the power up to the atomizer is one thing. But over here, this one is supposed to be ground. And here I'll show you. Um, put it on beep. So we get beep. Yeah, so this guy right here should be going to the, the negative side. Nothing. So um, the problem with this one is going to be more than likely people try to blob a big blob of solder in here to make uh, connections on the atomizer connector. And it's probably that that was a big, huge, swapping cold solder joint. And probably in shipping, bumping around, cold solder, cold solder joints have a tendency to just break loose. So it's probably broken loose up here. So to fix this one would just mean pulling out all this hot glue and reattaching the black wire to the outside of the atomizer connector. Here again, though, we still have the, uh, the underrated switch that's not really rated for 3 amps. And I don't know if this push button would be rated for 3 amps. Coming from Mad Vapes, so I'd say it probably is. So that's the, this 5 volt box mod. So yeah, guys, if you get a mod, ask the modder for the schematic so that you can beep it out once it gets there. And beep it out. Take your own meter. Take your multimeter out and beep it out. Make sure it works. Make sure it works and then you put batteries in it. <laughs> um, this one is a piece of junk with the bare wires. This one's just uh, a solder joint needs fixing. This thing, the, the wiring, all this wiring would have to be torn out and replaced with wire with insulation on it <laughs> so the wires don't short out. Till next time, guys, this is Steel Jan out. Hey, please support CASAA, C-A-S-A-A, -A -A, help support, uh, keep uh, us from having vape bans. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Steel Jan out. Bye, guys. Steel Jan.